Hello everyone, in this video I will teach you how you can integrate GetResponse with Zapier and give you two examples that you can start using right away after this video. Stay tuned. Alright, so now starting from the dashboard, in order to integrate GetResponse with Zapier, we have to go to Tools on the top left and we will go to Integrations and API. From here you will see there is a tab dedicated to Zapier and we will click here. So before we go forward, let me just explain that we use Zapier to actually integrate uh, multiple tools. For example, uh, in this video, I will show you how you can integrate GetResponse with Google Sheets. So when you add a new row, it will automatically add a contact to GetResponse. In the, in the other example, I will show you how after someone fills a survey, you can tag them automatically without you doing anything else, just setting up the automation in Zapier itself. So now, in order to connect, you will simply click this button. And of course, you will need an account with Zapier. But don't worry, as it is free. I'm already logged in. But so once you do the same, once you create an account with Zapier and log in, you will see exactly the same as me in here. And you simply have to authorize. All right, so once you do, you will see your active zaps. So these are uh, the automations that you've set. I already have two here and I'll use them for the examples. And you have templates here. So you can create a contact uh, in GetResponse from your responses uh, in Google Forms. And you can see that there are many things that you can do uh, with Zapier and GetResponse. So it can integrate different tools that, were, that was not possible without Zapier. And in my example, so we will use Google Sheets and we'll use SurveyKit. And before we do that, let me show you that. I'll go to Zapier itself over here, just so that you know how the platform looks like. But in order to do to create a new app, you don't have to do this. You can. All right. So you can either click a template or you can go straight to Zapier itself and you go to create right here. Then you go to new app, and it will ask you to choose the tools. So in our case, I want Google Sheets and I want it to, and I want to select new spreadsheet row. Once I do that, it will appear to continue. Then I will have to uh, log in my Google Sheets account. So you will have to authorize that as well. Uh, so it, it's be better if you already have uh, a Google Sheet, of course, and then continue. Then you have to set up the trigger. So how will Zapier know that it should, for example, create uh, a new contact and get response? So I will give them my spreadsheet, which is Google Sheets and get response. It's the name I gave it. And within the spreadsheet itself, you'll have a specific sheet in my case will be the number one. And then we simply continue. Now it will test the, between Zapier and uh, Google Sheets and everything seems correct. Now let's continue and I want get response. And the event would be to create or update a contact. As you can see, there are more things that you can do with it. This is just one of the examples that you can use. Let's click to continue. I have to choose an account. I are, I've already done this, so that's why you see my account here. But you will, once you integrate, once you click to authorize, you will also see your account. And then let's continue. And here is the, the more complicated part. It's very easy as you only have to select your things over here. So here I'll give you an example. So the list uh, it is required and it will be for All About Coffee. It's one of my lists. Then you, ha you have to insert an email. You can just insert one of the emails that you have. Uh, in my case, I will just write gr at gmail.com. That's one of my test emails. And then if you want to add people to the other responder cycle, for example, uh, once you add someone to the row, if you want to add them to autoresponder cycle zero, just write zero over here. And then you have all of that. And I can show you that you can add tags automatically too. In this case, let's say I will write Google. And we should keep it all in 
small case. Then you can see that I have a lot of custom fields. Uh, these are just the ones that I have in GetResponse and you can update them or it will simply add something to these contacts once they are added through Google Sheets. As you can see, uh, these are all the custom fields you can go through. You probably will have less or more depending on how you are using your GetResponse account. And then you have Origins Zapier so that you know it came from Zapier. And then later on you can even segment your contacts by that. Now you click to continue. So not, nothing really crazy here. We only filled a few fields that you needed to. And then let's test this action. All right. So you can see that this is working. We have a check mark here. If it wasn't, you would see some error popping up and it will tell you what, what was happening. So I want to publish this up. Let's just click on it and turn on. And see, so you can try this right away. But I will not transfer existing data because I already did that with my previous spreadsheet. And now what you can do, and you will see uh, this will be... Uh, I will actually deactivate this one because I did exactly the same for the other one. So let me just disable this so that we don't have any conflicting uh, area. And I will go to my spreadsheet. So you can go here. I, as you can see, I have a column with name, another with email, and you can have columns with your custom fields too, over here. I will call this Pedro Zap 2 and then I'll just copy-paste the email and change to 56 instead. And in a moment, um, you will see that this contact will join my list in GetResponse. Alright, so now let's head back to GetResponse and see if the contact was added. As you can see, if I go to my list, if I go to contacts right here, all about coffee, you will see the contact right here. So Pedro test GR plus 56, origin API, and uh, this was done through my first uh, zap that I already had configured, not the one we saw together. So we will only see Zapier right here on the origin. If it was the other one, we will see the tag and everything else. But I just had to disable one because they both had the same function. As you can see, very easy, this one over here, and every time you are using Google Sheets, Zapier will do the work for you and add the contacts. And now, what we'll do is to check how to tag someone that fills in a survey. So, we will go back to Integrations and API, back to Zapier, and I already have it configured here, but I will show you how you will do it through Zapier as well, so it will be very similar. So first, you will need, uh, in this specific case, of course, you can use any other tool. We are using Surveycut. So I went to Surveycut, I created an account, and I created a survey. And I can show you very briefly uh, how the survey looks like. And I have a few answers over here. And when someone uh, fills it, then uh, they will be tagged. And this is what I will configure in Zapier. So I already have it here, but I will do it once again so that you can just see. So we'll do exactly the same thing that we did before. And we can go to the circuit, select it, choose an event, on survey completion, and continue. Then choose an account. This is my circuit account. Continue once again, and it will ask uh, for one of the surveys. So you will need to have a survey created once you do that. Continue and test. So this will already uh, let us know if this, this integration is correct. All right, and you can see all the fields over here, and I'll continue. Now what we will do in GetResponse will be to create or update contact. Let's click continue. And as you can see, we are going exactly through the same steps as we did on the other integration. And this will happen with most of them to be exactly the same thing. All right, so now we have to select the list and everything else. So I, just for the example's sake, I'll go with all about coffee. I will go with email once again over here. And this one will be different because I, I just want to show you uh, how it will look. They have the other responder if you want to add another responder. 
and you are already familiar with that and tag can be just survey. And you will see that I, I already have that in one of the contacts. And the same, you can have uh, custom fields added or updated as you wish, depending on the answers on the survey as well. Can also be configured by that. So let's continue and test the action. All right, so you can see that this is working and you would only have to click publish. So in this case, I will not, as I would have to unpublish anyway, because I have two zaps with the same function. So I'll simply close. And what I want to show you now is that if I go to get response and if I find the contact, so I, I when I did the example, I did it with the same contact, which was the first one over here, you will see that this contact as origin Zapier and tag survey. But the interesting part here is that I added this contact a long time ago. So it was back in August and this survey was done in November. So you can see that it simply updated uh, the custom field and also added the tag. And what you can do later on is to just go here on the condition, contact details, and you can go to custom field. Or in, in this case, we can go straight to tags to be fair and we can write survey. I was going to custom fields as you can use Zapier as the origin. And you can see that I have a tag and I can I could create a segment. It could be survey respondents and then save. So whenever someone uh, fills in the survey and they complete it, they will be automatically added to this segment and then you can use it for your newsletters. And before we finish here, let me just show you that you can configure the zaps within GetResponse. So if you go to the integrations, now you will see that we have a few connected and others created. We should have four. Yeah, we have active zaps and connected ones, but then you can use a template and this can be configured through uh, GetResponse directly. So if you go to Google Sheets here, there is actually a template for that. Simply click to configure. You will then see like in here and get started. The process will be exactly the same. You will just be configuring it within GetResponse. You select the sheet, go down once again, and it will make the integration directly. Click next. It's already uh, going to get response. I select the list, go down next. And you simply select what we just did before, uh, very simple, and then you can simply click next once again. Send the test. All right, so now we can go next and you could turn on the up. So it's exactly the same thing. I uh, taught you how you can do it directly in Zapier platform, uh, but you can do it straight in GetResponse. Now you simply have to look at your tech stack, see if you're using any other tool besides GetResponse, and by using Zapier, you will most likely be able to integrate both together and automate a lot of tasks that you were doing manually before. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.